first ride of the 2016 Africa Twin. This is a torque monster. This thing. Okay, let's uh, fix these mirrors. The only first thing I'm gonna complain about with this bike is the uh, the turn signal. You got the the horn above the turn signal, Honda. What were you thinking? It should be the turn signal, then the horn at the bottom. Flickability, very very good. Wow, very flickable guys, very, very flickable. That stupid ass GoPro over there quit working, so that shit ain't working. But uh, let's fix these mirrors, like I said, you know. Can't see shit in them. There we go. What is my heel hitting on? The uh, shield, the heat shield in the back there, my heel is hitting on the heat shield. The bike is very, very tall. I must say that. It's definitely not for short riders. And if you lower this thing, you're gonna have a roll of hurt. You're gonna have a roll, roll of hurt if you lower this bike. So first thing I'm gonna say is instrument panel right here. You got your speedometer, you got your uh, fuel gauge, you got your uh, tachometer up here, your RPM. Uh, ear temperature it's 26 degrees twenty sixteen Africa twin very very nice bike very comfortable uh, what else can I say about this bike instrument panel is pretty decent turn signal I like that's one of my favorite part about the instrument panel is the turn signal it's got one on the right and left and uh, you know, when you turn it on, it just lights up, shows you which day the total. See that? I was just about to hit the uh, the horn again. Six gear, bike definitely goes, man. It's pretty quick. It's not slow. Hey, hold on there, lady. You hold your horse there, young lady. Yeah, so like I said, the bike is very tall, and there's a reason for it, because it's an adventure bike, you know? Um, it's got ABS over there. This is the ABS model again. So, a lot of vibration, doing 100K, roll on the throttle, the whole entire bike just, like it's vibrating a lot. You got your, uh, Like I said, bike is flickable, very flickable. So that's not something to uh, worry about. Brakes are sharp. The mirrors are not bad, actually. They don't stick out a lot, but it's not bad, okay? The mirrors don't stick out a lot, but they're not bad. I like the sound of the engine, the exhaust. Believe it or not, I do like the sound of it. I like the fact that it has a fuel gauge. It shows you the temperature, the here temperature, and it's tall. So like for me, it's not like the Goldwing that I was just riding. That feels a little bit cramped up for a tall rider. So if you're a tall person, I'm 6'4", by the way. So for all of you guys who are actually um, thinking of getting a bike like this, definitely, definitely uh, a good bike for tall riders. Uh, Lots of download torque. Definitely lots of download torque. I like the, the shield on here, the guard, on the uh, the pedal bars. Blocks the wind a bit. Your arm are actually up. The handlebars are pretty wide. It's not like uh, a sport bike type of feel. So your arms are kind of up there, sitting up there for a bit, which is not bad. It's pretty decent. You know, pretty decent stuff. Like I said, if you're going too slow under 80K and roll on the throttle in six gear, you're gonna definitely feel all that vibration on the bike. And 
This is what I mean, meant when I said the, uh, this is what I meant when I said the, the horn button, the horn button should be below the turn signal, right here. This is the horn, that's the turn signal. So every time you come over here and try to switch the turn signal, you gotta remember that it's the one at the bottom, because the horn has a big knob on the top here, and you definitely don't want to be hitting that for your uh, turn signal. It does vibrate a lot. There's a lot of wind actually coming in here because, you know, it's got a wind vent right here. It's got a wind vent over there, wind vent back here. Uh, it's only a small uh, windscreen, so you can't expect too much from that. But overall, my experience with the uh, Africa Twin, very nice bike though. Apart from all the uh, vibration and all that, it rides very comfortable. Let's go down. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting rid of some of that vibration. Once we lower our um, lower our gears, er, gear, I should say, gears on the bike. There's a T there. I don't know what the T stands for on the dash, and there's a T here. So let's. Okay. laps on there see that I want to turn right and I was just about to push the horn to turn someone just <laughs> beat their arm for uh, push their horn instead of a, a turn Shit. Oh shit! Holy shit! This thing is a torque man, so man, this thing goes. <laughs> Woo! I'm in love. I'm in love with Africa Twin. This thing really goes, man. Really nice bike. Full with torque. Fun to ride. It's tall. A lot of ground clearance. That's what I like about it. Very flickable too. You know, bounce, bounce a lot. So the uh, suspension on there is pretty decent. So the ride is going on until eight o'clock tonight. And right now, is there a time on here? I could, six o'clock right now. So I got two more hours on this thing. So when I get back, I'm gonna try the uh, CB500F. Okay, but the Africa Twin, man. This is the way to go. Africa Twin is the way to go, baby. Um, so the reason, we, first of all, let me explain the reason why we're out here test riding all these bikes. The reason why we're out here test riding these bikes is because it's the end of the season. All the demo rides are over. So Honda decided, hey guys, come on over and test ride our bikes. You know, we give you a couple hours to play with them and you guys can go play with them. So here we are, we're uh, test riding the bikes. This event is uh, a private event for motorcycle instructors only and uh, you know it's uh, I, this is how I would put it I can't thank Honda enough for inviting us out because stuff like this I would go for a demo ride on a dealership and then I would have to wait in line to see how many people is actually going all we do we go back to Honda we just jump on another bike and we off again and we go. 